What's going on guys, Clayton coming at you again from Two Way Direct. Today I'm going to be talking about the Hytera BD502, doing an unboxing, putting it together, teaching you how to use it, and going over the do's and don'ts with this radio. Alright, let's get to it. So every box comes with a radio, a prepackaged battery, you're going to fit the battery into the radio this way, click it in, there's a latch on the back, you push up. Battery pushes directly into the radio. Next up, we have the charging station for the radio. Now you wanna make sure that when you charge your radios, that you charge them while they're off. Leaving them on is going to severely hurt the battery. You also wanna make sure that you're only really charging your radios about once a day for a max amount of time. So what else comes with it? We have the belt clip. And then we also have the antenna. What you're gonna do is screw the antenna right on top. Now, the thing you wanna make sure with the antenna, you never wanna carry a radio by its antenna. You never want to whip it around using the antenna. If anything in this coil gets damaged, it's going to lose a ton of power when it's putting out its radio signals. Put that right in there for now. Also comes with a handheld loop. Basically put the radio into your hand, make sure that you won't drop it. This is really good, especially if you're in a high work environment where something may easily slip out of your hand. And we have the charger cord. All right, so as we said before, before engaging the charger, make sure that your radio is off. Plug it back in there. Light is bright green, it means it's good to go. So the colors for this go, green means full charged, orange means medium charge, Red means low battery. Now, if this is flashing red, it actually means that the battery is below its low battery threshold and needs to stay on the charger until it's fully charged again. So when you purchase a radio from Two Way Direct, you're gonna get free programming. That way the radio will be able to work right out of the box with all your other radios. So to turn the radio on, you're gonna use the volume knob. Just turn it like that. And in a moment, you'll hear it key up, but we'll keep going. One. So to switch channels, all you do Two. is rotate. Three. Four. Five. It'll also announce the channels, that way you know where you're going. So in order to engage the radio, you're going to want to push this push to talk button right here, okay? You want to wait a moment before you start speaking to make sure that not only is the radio engaged, but if you're using a repeater, it usually takes about a few seconds for the repeater to actually turn on and engage. So you always want to give it a few seconds before you actually start speaking. Now once you're done speaking, a lot of times you're going to want to use proper radio code. So if the sentence is over and the other person can speak, you say over. If the conversation is done and you will not be responding, you say out. Now when you have a lot of people working with radios, the best option for this is to actually designate people to certain channels. That way the entire team isn't going to be using one channel and attempting to talk over everybody. So what you'll see on this side as well is that it has an accessory jack right here. The accessory jack has a screw in at the top. This ensures that if you have a headset hooked up to your radio and it drops, it's not going to hit the ground or damage it by being torn out. We also sell a bacteria resistant silicone case for this, which is good for helping to keep out water from the radio as well. Give us a call at 888-742-5893 or visit our website at twowaydirect.com to find this radio and many more like it.